SpaceX's future just got even more extraordinary. In a groundbreaking announcement at the 31st annual Barron Investment Conference, Gwyn Shotwell, the powerhouse president of SpaceX, revealed plans that could redefine humanity's journey to the stars. With Starship Flight 6 on the horizon, she shared how this revolutionary spacecraft isn't just about reaching new heights. It's about transforming our fundamental relationship with space. Picture a future where satellites aren't abandoned when they break down, but are brought back for repairs. Where space travel becomes as accessible as catching a flight. Where SpaceX launches not just dozens, but hundreds of starships within the next few years. These aren't just ambitious dreams. They're part of SpaceX's concrete roadmap, backed by the company's impressive track record of over 100 successful launches this year alone. But perhaps the most stunning revelation? Shotwell believes Starship will surpass even Starlink's tremendous success, potentially adding another zero to SpaceX's already staggering $210 billion valuation. And with the upcoming Flight 6 marking the end of Starship's first version, we're witnessing the dawn of an even more capable spacecraft. I'm your host at Elon Musk 24 Hours, and today we're diving deep into these remarkable developments that are reshaping the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. First, let's address the immediate news that's got the space community buzzing. The much-anticipated Starship Flight 6 has been rescheduled to November 19th, with a 30-minute launch window opening at 4 p.m. Central Time. While some might see this as a setback, it actually reflects SpaceX's unwavering commitment to perfection. As Gwyn Shotwell explained during the Barron Investment Conference, every detail matters when you're pushing the boundaries of space exploration. But this isn't just another launch. Flight 6 represents something far more significant. It marks the end of Starship's first chapter and the beginning of an even more ambitious era. The goal isn't just to reach orbit, it's to revolutionize our entire approach to space transportation. Let's break down what makes this moment so monumental. While some critics point to the costs of Starship's development program, they're missing the bigger picture. SpaceX isn't just building a rocket, they're creating the foundation for humanity's future in space, and they've got the track record to prove they can deliver. Consider this, SpaceX has already completed over 100 launches this year alone with their Falcon rockets. To put that in perspective, their closest U.S. competitor, Rocket Lab, has managed just 12 orbital launches in the same period. With 15,000 employees and billions in government contracts, including being NASA's exclusive U.S. partner for ISS crew transportation, SpaceX has proven they can turn ambitious goals into reality. But here's where things get really interesting. Shotwell revealed that Starlink, often seen as SpaceX's crown jewel with its 4 million subscribers, might soon be overshadowed by Starship's potential. We're going to make some money on Starlink this year, she stated with recent reports suggesting annual revenues of $6.6 .6 billion and $600 million in free cash flow. But according to Shotwell, this is just the beginning. What truly sets Starship apart is its revolutionary approach to space operations. Imagine a future where a malfunctioning satellite isn't just written off as a loss. Instead, Starship could retrieve it, bring it back to Earth for repairs, and return it to orbit. This isn't science fiction. It's part of SpaceX's concrete plans for Starship's capabilities. The numbers tell a compelling story. SpaceX's current valuation of $210 billion, soon expected to rise to $250 billion, reflects the market's confidence in their vision. But even these impressive figures might be conservative. As Barron Capital's founder, Ron Barron, noted, their investment in SpaceX has already multiplied seven times since 2017, and they expect it to triple again in the next five years. Here's where Shotwell's vision becomes truly audacious. She predicts that within the next four years, SpaceX could launch 400 starships. That's not a typo. We're talking about hundreds of launches of the most powerful rocket ever built. To put this in perspective, that's more launches of this massive vehicle than all other rockets combined currently achieve in a year globally. But perhaps the most transformative aspect of Starship isn't just its technical capabilities, it's how it will democratize space access. What we're doing is allowing ordinary people to go to space, Shotwell emphasized. The spacecraft isn't just bigger, it's more comfortable and crucially, 
will be less expensive to operate. This is why she believes that within six to eight years, even SpaceX's highly successful Falcon 9 and Dragon spacecraft might be retired in favor of Starship. The implications for space exploration are staggering. With its ability to lift over 100 metric tons to orbit, Starship isn't just another incremental improvement in rocket technology. It's a paradigm shift. The massive payload capacity, combined with full reusability, means we'll need to completely rethink our approach to space missions. Imagine scientific instruments no longer constrained by weight limitations, space stations assembled from large prefabricated modules, and lunar bases constructed with materials and equipment delivered by a single launch. These aren't just possibilities, they're part of SpaceX's concrete development roadmap. Speaking of development, Shotwell offered fascinating insights into Starship's testing philosophy. Each flight provides crucial data, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The upcoming Flight 6, while focused on specific objectives like catching the Super Heavy Booster, represents another step in this methodical approach to perfecting the world's most ambitious spacecraft. To truly appreciate the scale of this ambition, consider that Starship isn't just about Earth orbit. It's designed to be the key that unlocks regular travel between Earth and Mars. With its massive fuel capacity and innovative propulsion system, Starship could transport not just scientific equipment, but eventually the first human settlers to the Red Planet. The financial implications are equally impressive. While Starlink currently drives much of SpaceX's valuation, Shotwell believes Starship will ultimately be the thing that takes us over the top. She envisions it making SpaceX one of the most valuable companies in the world, not just in the space sector, but across all industries. This vision is already attracting serious attention from investors. Barron Capital's experience, turning their SpaceX investment into a seven-fold return since 2017, demonstrates the market's confidence in these ambitious plans. Even more intriguing, Barron suggests their projections might be conservative compared to Elon Musk's own goals for the company. What makes Shotwell's announcements particularly credible is her track record of turning seemingly impossible goals into reality. Under her leadership, SpaceX has consistently delivered on its promises, from developing reusable rockets to creating a global satellite internet constellation. When she speaks about Starship's potential, it's backed by years of successful innovation and execution. The development of Starship represents more than just technological advancement. It's about opening up new possibilities for human civilization. With its unprecedented payload capacity, reusability, and versatility, Starship is poised to transform everything from satellite deployment to space tourism, and eventually interplanetary travel. Recent developments at Starbase, SpaceX's testing facility in Texas, show the rapid pace of progress. Engineers are continuously refining the vehicle's systems, incorporating lessons learned from each test flight. The upcoming Flight 6 will demonstrate several crucial technological advances, including improved engine performance and enhanced control systems. Looking at the broader impact, Starship's development is already influencing the entire space industry. Competitors are reassessing their own plans, and space agencies worldwide are exploring how to incorporate Starship's capabilities into their missions. NASA's Artemis program, aimed at returning humans to the moon, has already selected a variant of Starship as its lunar lander. As we stand on the brink of this transformative moment in space exploration, Gwyn Shotwell's vision for Starship represents more than just technological advancement. It embodies humanity's boundless potential to innovate, adapt, and reach for the stars. With SpaceX's proven track record, robust financial foundation through Starlink, and the game-changing capabilities of Starship, we're witnessing the dawn of a new era in space travel. From revolutionizing satellite maintenance to making space travel more accessible and comfortable, Starship is set to redefine our relationship with the cosmos. As Shotwell confidently predicts, launching 400 Starships in the next four years isn't just an ambitious goal. It's a roadmap to making SpaceX one of the most valuable companies on Earth. The future of space exploration isn't just about reaching new destinations. It's about creating new possibilities for humanity. With each launch, each test, and each breakthrough, we move closer to this extraordinary future.
If you want to stay updated on the latest developments in SpaceX's journey to revolutionize space travel, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you found this insight into Starship's future fascinating and share your thoughts about these groundbreaking developments in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who'd appreciate these exciting revelations. I'm your host at Elon Musk 24 Hours, and I'll see you in the next episode as we continue to chronicle humanity's greatest space adventure. Stay curious, stay inspired, History was made when SpaceX launched the most powerful rocket ever built. But behind this incredible achievement lies an even more ambitious secret, one that Elon Musk rarely discusses in detail. While Starship's recent launches have captured headlines worldwide, they're just the first steps in a far grander vision, establishing a permanent human presence on Mars. Each Starship launch has shattered records and pushed engineering boundaries. Even what some considered failures like that spectacular, crater-creating spin and explosion, marked revolutionary advances in rocket technology. But to truly understand what makes Starship different, we need to look beyond these early tests. Between today's prototype launches and Musk's dream of a thriving Martian city, lies an intricate web of unprecedented technical challenges. It's a journey that will require SpaceX to consistently achieve what many consider impossible, time and time again. On Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're diving deep into the hidden complexities of Starship's development path, from achieving true orbit to landing on the moon and ultimately reaching the red planet. The story behind these challenges reveals why Starship isn't just another rocket. It's potentially the most ambitious engineering project in human history. Let's dive right in. Let's break down the three major milestones Starship must conquer. Achieving true orbit, landing on the moon, and finally reaching Mars. Each represents a technological leap that would make history on its own. First, there's the challenge of true orbit, and it's more complex than you might think. While SpaceX has launched Starship to space, they haven't yet attempted full orbital velocity. Here's why that matters. Starship is the largest object humanity has ever launched into space. When you're dealing with something this massive, achieving orbit becomes a delicate balance between power and control. Think about this. At orbital velocity, Starship is essentially falling around Earth at 17,500 miles per hour. At these speeds, even a small miscalculation could have serious consequences. That's why SpaceX's current test flights are deliberately kept below orbital velocity, ensuring any potential failures result in a controlled descent into the Indian Ocean. But achieving orbit is just the beginning. The next challenge is what I call the Pez dispenser problem. Unlike traditional rockets with their clamshell fairings, Starship needs a completely new way to deploy satellites. SpaceX's solution? A innovative system that releases Starlink satellites one at a time through a narrow slot like a giant space Pez dispenser. It's brilliant in its simplicity, but executing this in the vacuum of space adds another layer of complexity to Starship's mission profile. Then comes perhaps the most ambitious part of SpaceX's near-term plans. Orbital refueling. Picture two massive Starships performing an orbital ballet, attempting to dock back-to-back -to, -back to transfer highly volatile rocket fuel. While SpaceX has mastered docking with the International Space Station, this is different. They're essentially trying to connect two massive fuel pipes in space, a feat never before attempted at this scale. The lunar landing presents its own unique set of challenges. The Starship variant designed for moon missions will look quite different from its 